Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, what I'll be sharing with you is how you can install and host OpenVPN server with Docker. So I'm looking at this guide from uh, macontech.com. So over here, what it shows you is that you can run open server using Docker and run it as a service. And with that, you can actually generate client connection, configurations and certificates. So this setup is for passwordless uh, environment. So client wouldn't use a uh, username and password to connect to the server. Instead, it will use a uh, client certificate to connect. So there are a few prerequisites that you need to do first before you follow this uh, guide. First, you must make sure that Docker is installed and running. And next, we will actually uh, launch the OpenVPN Docker container that's provided by Kao Mana using this link. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, uh, I'm actually using AWS uh, server the cloud platform to actually launch this uh, Docker container. So uh, first I will have to create an in situ instance first. So be it you using AWS or Azure or Google Cloud, doesn't matter because this Docker container can run on any kind of servers. So first what I need to do is to launch an in situ instance. So I just click on the instances running, just launch an instance. So I'll give this uh, instance a name, OpenVPN. So I use uh, Amazon Linux 2 as the distro. So AMI Amazon Linux 2 to 3, free tier. And the instance type is also free tier, p2.micro. So I just choose a keypad. So if you do not have a keypad, just create a new keypad. So now I setting I just DPS default. So auto assign public IP, I just enable. Create, create security group. So storage, I also DPS default. So I just launch instance. Okay, so let's go back to the instance. So just uh, so this is the one that I've created. So instance day is still pending. So I just hit refresh for now. Okay, so once it has uh, changed to the uh, instance is to be running. So next one, click on connect. So we use a uh, SSH client to actually connect to the server itself. So first you need to use you need to have a party. Maybe look something like this. So first I need to install the, I mean, put in the private key file. So which is uh, openvpn.uk file. Go back to session. Then I put in the, this uh, EC2 user. Copy. Paste. Then open. So just click accept. And now we are in. So I've made the font a little bit bigger. So what I need to do now is to actually download run Docker. So you do a yum install docker dash y. Oops. So sudo. So just wait for you to download okay so once completed you have to start in docker oops that's denied and status oops Okay, so Docker is running. So next, uh, let's follow the guide. Let's come back here. So we have installed Docker. So next first, we need to run this command. Create a data volume container for OpenVPN server. So let's do that. So let's clear now. Let's do that first. Then next, what you need to do is let's take a look. Our next step: create a data volume container. So let's do that. Okay, maybe we do one more time now. And next. 
Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So anyway, let's continue first. Then next, uh, we download the OpenVPN server document file. Set it to a server's host public IP address. So, okay, so what's my public IP address? Is this? So let's do that. Okay, next. Okay, so now we have a problem. Every time we run the Docker command, we have to run a uh, sudo. So what you can do first is that you can grab to see whether there is a Docker group. So there's a Docker group. So next what I want to do is come over here. And so there's a Docker group. So I want to add the username to the Docker group. So in this case, My username is EC2 user. Oh man. So let's do that. Okay, so adding user to the group Docker. And next, what I want to do is let's see. So make sure that the user is in the Docker admin group. So let's, let's see. So EC2 user is in the group now. So let's see whether I can run Docker without sudo. So I still got permission denied. Hmm. Maybe let me connect one more time. So I have re-login again. Now I put a uh, Docker images. You can see now I can run Docker without being without using sudo. So next uh, let's continue. So let's run this Docker command. Sorry, I've not installed the the image. So next, before I do that, I have to go to the home folder. EC2 user. So I have to install the git first. So let me see. So I have to install git first. So it seems I'm on the uh i can use this command yes so let's go back here if i click on this link You see that there's this uh, docker pull command. So we can just copy this. Okay, once completed, then you can pull using docker. So, just the command that I used just now. So I just click yes. So image is up to date. Then let's run the command earlier on. This one. Enter. Okay, so yes, I've really generated a config file. Let's see what's next. So I've done that. Now the open VPN server image file. So it should be something like this. Then uh, we will generate and retrieve a CA certificate and client certificate. So let's do that. Let's copy. Yes. 
So basically, I realized I made a mistake. I should hide the whole whole thing. So what we we'll do now is this. Let me go back here. So let me generate the CA certificate now. So I need a new CA uh, key phrase. We enter. Okay, EC2 user, common name. So now you will generate. Okay, so once it's done, let's go back and see what else we need to do next. So now we have the CA certificate, you'll be valid for the next three years. So next we want to do is run the Docker command to start the open VPN Docker container. So let's go back here. Okay, once it's done, we'll generate a certificate certificate for a client service. So let's do that. So next, we have to run the following command to compile the open VPN connection config file and retrieve it from the Docker container to the whole server. Okay, so let's do that. So now we have this, the client open VPN config file. I will have to retrieve this later on. So next, we can actually uh, retrieve the file using the bin SCP. So now we will bring back our OpenVPN client. Of course, you're using Windows, you can use this uh, OpenVPN client. But if you're using uh, Linux, you can just uh, follow the instructions over here. Okay. So if let's say you're connecting it through a Windows machine. So you just turn it on. If you a while. Okay, so it was not successful. I think I know why. Because uh, we need to open up the UTP port, which is 1194 UTP port. So let's go back here. Let's go to security. And let's look at the security group. Edit inbound rules. Okay, so this one ICMP I can delete first. Then I need to open up the UTP port, which is uh, 1194. Okay, so I'm put this and save rules. Okay, so right now it should work. All right, so it's connected now. So let's see what's my ip so let's go to what's what's my ip address so let's click on that so it's checking now so you can see here it's actually in ohio Columbus. Alright, so we have successfully created the OpenVPN hosted on an AWS instance. Right now it's free, but as you continue to run these uh, instances, there might be some charges on the data transfer. So if let's say you choose to turn it off, the IP, then you turn it on again, the IP address will change. Then you have to redo some of the configuration again. Alright, so this is just for your knowledge. And next, uh, I also want to share with you if let's say you want to, you do not want to connect versus connect via SSH, you want to connect via SSH manager, you can also do so over here. But first, you need to actually go to security and then modify the IM rule. So then change to uh, 
to an IMM role, there's a certain permission that allows you to connect via session manager. So if you click on that, you'll see that the permissions given is for session manager permissions. So that's it. I hope this uh, tutorial gives you a better understanding of how you can create open VPNs uh, server and host it yourself. And if you like this video, I appreciate you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.